So we have Mitch Sermon, he's a local shaper and a long-time competitor of the Noosa Festival. Um, he's recently made the transition in the last few years to the logger event from being a professional um, open longboarder. And I guess now he's, he's sort of in like that top echelon of, uh, of loggers in the world. And uh, he shaped this board himself and I've just picked it out. It's a little bit interesting. It's got upturned rails. But Mitch, can you tell us a little bit more about how refined these uh, rails are on the tail and, and that sort of dished out um, that dished out nose concave? Yeah, I guess um, I've been working on this board for maybe a year and a half, two years now. Yeah. Um, when I first started to make it, it was really 50-50 rails, but I do, to be honest, struggle pretty hard to ride 50-50 rails on my log, so I started to turn up the rails a lot more. And, Is that for turning? Um, yeah for turning reasons, like I really like doing big jams and when I was running 50-50 rails I seemed to dig in a lot more. Yeah. Um, so I just started really turning it up and kind of keeping it flat through the middle but then nice little slight roll. Um, a lot of the boards that I'm kind of going off are Hayden's boards like Kevin Platt and um, Bob McTavish, yeah Shake 4. Um, Hayden back in the day at Alex so I'm kind of going off those boards that one of my friends and Alex collects a lot of those boards and lets me spend a fair bit of time with them and do a bit of research off how they work for me and others and so yeah I've got a little bit of a team together and we kind of been running rails like this and big teardrop nose just kind of holds in a little bit better on the nose so and you glassed it or just yeah yeah we, we build everything so we hand foil the fins lay the fin panels up glass the boards everything's tinted um triple stringers so don burford cuts all the triple stringers in for me and the rocker is actually 1966 and the triple rocker. stringer just for those that don't know is the uh the three wood stringers in the middle of the board hey yeah yeah and it, it gives you that weight feeling doesn't yeah, it yeah exactly and rather than making up the weight with the with the glass like some of these guys are doing with the minimum weight restriction for the event a lot of guys just chucking on lots and lots of layers of fiberglass where Mitch has actually opted for a triple stringer and also a glass on fin and he's probably also got heavy glass as well just to add to that um, well, it, it's not just a, a restriction for the event either it's actually a, the weight is a good thing for surfing waves like Noosa definitely reckon, definitely so. well good luck yeah. in the event dude we'll be filming you and um, yeah, I hope you do well. Yeah, Look thanks, mate. Cheers. Thanks, boys. Legend. 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 Legend.